you just got back from the mechanic and he told you you need a wheel cylinder. This is a wheel cylinder. I'm going to explain to you what it does and how it operates. Now, this is this is a cylinder right here. It's just a bore right down the center. And it's got two circular pistons inside, I'm going to call them, or cups. And they're uh, the perfect shape of the cylinder. And behind that piston is a rubber seal. I'm going to pop this out and show you. This is a dust cover. Now you got to keep it clean. That's the piston. That is the rubber dust cup. What happens is that keeps the uh, piston separated and the rubber dust cups pressure. What happens is brake fluid comes in here and pushes outwards on the pistons. Let's put this back in there. You can rebuild these but it's cheaper just to get them and replace them. It's less time consuming. Cause you gotta clean out the cylinder bores and all that and sandblast them. You're wondering why a wheel cylinder fails. This is a prime example. Right here. It's leaking brake fluid. The rubber seal went. Alright, what happens is here's your brake shoes. Uh, when you apply pressure to the brake pedal, the fluid travels through this brake line down the uh, frame of your car usually right into the back of the wheel cylinder. Now there's the uh, wheel cylinder like I said. There's two pieces. One here that pushes outwards on the brake shoes. Now there's the shoe and the, the uh, brake drum is installed. Alright, here's the brake shoe installed. You see how it's wrapped around the studs that the tire gets connected to? This is, this backing plate is connected to the axle. So this is stationary, does not move. This spins with the wheel. So when that wheel cylinder has brake fluid and it's applying pressure, the uh, brake shoes are anchored to this backing plate and it pushes against the brake shoes and it wedges against the drum and when it does that it slows the drum down or brings it to a stop which the drum is pretty much encasing the studs which stops the wheel it's pretty basic that's pretty much it any questions please comment below if this video helped you please hit the like button and thanks for watching